there's just something special about being able to go downtown to do an event instead of driving out somewhere. Luther and Mary Kurtz have spent the last few months renovating this 30-year-old Charlevoix cinema, an investment they hope will become a staple in downtown Charlevoix. We saw a lot of potential in what we could do, and, and uh, we understood that we could get digital projection and 3D and stuff, and that uh, it would really create an amazing ex movie experience for people here in Charlevoix, and we're really excited about it. Moviegoers will now experience new digital projectors, 3D films, brand new seating, and an extended concessions area. The story wasn't always good for this theater, though. Just two years ago, the former owner was forced to default on the mortgage. But now that the Kurtzes have stepped in, local business leaders hope the reopening will give new life to the downtown district. Uh, it's huge. It's huge for a downtown. Uh, when I attend seminars with, with colleagues of mine across the state, uh, and we talk about sort of anchor businesses in, in downtowns, uh, theaters are on a very short list. Other towns around the region are also trying to get the ball rolling on downtown theater projects. Boyne City is gathering funds to restore their 100-year-old cinema. And Petoskey has conducted studies to see if a theater is a good fit downtown. But in the meantime, they'll be watching to see how this new cinema affects Charlevoix's downtown economy. You know, we've tried to make some changes in how it looked and then kind of the experience people get when they come in and we're hoping those changes will work and make people keep wanting to come to movies in downtown Charlevoix. In Charlevoix, Nathan Edwards, 7 and 4 News.